Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy's Promo, and today is day three of the Sandbox Alpha, and so this one's more particular to what the Sandbox is all about. The first two days was really just running around the map, getting used to the controls, getting used to the world, seeing what you're really able to do in terms of just the very, very small basic things, but today is actually a game. It's one that I've already done. It's very fun. It's parkour. You get to run around with a sword. You can run into and, and hit skeletons and animals, and you're jumping on different bridges, things like that. So really this is getting closer to what the sandbox will really offer. So a few people just think that it's not much of a game. You're just running around and there's really nothing to it. But the one thing to remember is that this is still alpha. This is only day three into the sandbox alpha. Uh, and also too, this is now finally getting into a game that is very similar to what we're going to be able to interact with with the sandbox. And so by the mid of 2022, there should be right around 5,000 games that you're able to run through the map and do these quests and do these really cool things. And then also concerts again in the middle of next year, either the second or third quarter of 2022. So there's still a lot going on with this game, a lot going on with the sandbox metaverse and not just what you've seen for the last two days. So the first thing I want to get out of the way is just to show you guys what you're able to do to try to win a contest. And this is day three contest. So each and every single day, there's been a contest to have the opportunity of winning an alpha pass. And so here's the third one. And it just wants you to go inside of the NFT Institute, take a photo with the golden ape. Now I've already done this. And so once you, once you go into the NFT Institute and you take a screenshot or a picture, however you want to do it from your phone or computer, uh, you can see that mine is just sitting right here. I'm on the red carpet. I'm getting penetrated with this laser inside the NFT uh, Institute. And so basically all it wants you to do is post that image here and you want to go to this form and it's a very quick form. You put in your name, email, and then your sandbox uh, wallet address, and then also the link of this Twitter post. And how you're able to find the link is when you click on this image here, uh, below it is the date and the time. And when you right click, this is where you're able to copy the link address and then you put it into the form. It's a very simple form. And if you do need to find what your uh, your sandbox wallet address is just go inside of your profile. The sandbox wallet address is right here. You just want to hit on copy and then you put it into your form. So now that we got the contest out of the way, it's very simple to do. You can see here, I got the green check mark next to the alpha hub. This was just kind of running around, taking a look at the three different factions. Uh, this was the next one that we did. And this was running around the NFT uh, Institute. And then this is the one for today, which you can see a green check mark. I have done it, visited, alpha quest completed. And when you do some of these alpha quests right here, uh, it does, I believe, help your chances of winning an NFT pass because it shows that your wallet is going through some of these experiences. Now, even though I don't have the alpha pass just yet, um, hopefully I can get one, maybe win one, uh, then I'd be able to go through the rest of these experiences. So there's really only three that I can do if you don't have a pass. Other than that, if you have the pass, you have 18. Uh, so really, hopefully, I'd be able to get one of these things here, but you can see that I'm not a part of the alpha. So if you guys can help me out somehow, <laughs> maybe get a hold of me, send me if, send me your NFT pass or the, the alpha pass if you get one. Maybe write the sandbox on Twitter, say, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy's promo needs to get a alpha pass so he can keep doing these videos each and every day. So anyways, here we go. This is the third one. We're going to go inside of the play. And again, this one's really more close to exactly what is going to be offered when you start getting into the sandbox, you know, from here on out, after the alpha is completely done, after this three week period is done, then they go into like, you know, more than likely the full launch of the game and everything like that. I do expect to be able, you know, have a lot more. So, I mean, Adidas is a part of this, Dead Mouse is a part of this, Care Bears is a part of this. There's so many huge companies that's behind uh, the sandbox that I just know it's gonna be huge. So one thing that you also want to think about is investing in Matic, which is Polygon, because they'll be switching over and doing a dual uh, chain. So one of those will be Polygon. So make sure you get some Matic if you want to be a part of it. And if you're a part of the stock market, uh, not financial advice, this is more for entertainment purposes only. But uh, Unity was behind. Unity is the building platform for the metaverse here. Uh, so if you're looking for a stock market to, or a stock to look into, you can take a look at Unity. So anywho, um, getting past all that, now all we got to do is we want to speak to this person here. Um, ha, a new victim, I mean a challenger to face a dungeon. Are you up for the challenge? Uh, if you want to win this challenge, find the wide portal located at the end of the dungeon. It's up to you to reach it. It won't be easy. Some have tried, but they have encountered problems. Okay, but I can't let you proceed until you're equipped at a basic level. You can find a sword at the other end of this door and press I to open up your inventory. Uh, then double click the sword to equip it. Once you're set, try to interact with the lever next to the table. May the fortune be with you. Uh, you're going to need it. All right, so here we go. 
so we're, we're now uh, within this game. Now these right here are checkpoints. Anytime that you can find this, uh, and if you die afterwards, don't worry, that is a checkpoint. So this was the lever, okay, looks like we can't touch the lever just yet. You do want to uh, speak over into this guide first. So let's talk to the guide. Um, let's see, Alpha Quest. Welcome to Dungeon of Dummies, or Dumb YS, or YZ. Traveler, there is a noticeable place uh, that I would like for you to see. Complete this quest to earn Alpha Progression. Uh, great, reach the point of interest called Forgotten Gargoyle. All right. Uh, so what you want to do to reach the, the location, and actually you do need to get to pick up the sword. So this was a sword that was right on the other side of the, uh, the door. So now that you picked up the sword, you want to hit on the inventory and you want to double click. And so now you are equipped with your sword. So once you pick up the sword, then now you're able to actually go interact with this lever. So we're going to interact with this lever. And one thing that I want to do here first um, is head down below because you can see that below this target area um, or below there is a target and that is that little area that our quest our guide wants us to go to so let's head over into the forgotten gargoyle location so here we go uh, so this is just kind of a first way to show you that you can fight and use your sword so it's just the click of the mouse uh, one thing that you, you can do is you can also do a little leap if you wanted to. So if you're running into some problems, uh, either you can jump or leap. So I'm not going to go after the, the last one. Uh, we're just going to go all the way up to the top and we're going to do this parkour thing. Now I do have to state that if this game is looking a little choppy, it's actually just my computer. I think it's just going through a lot of stuff right now. So um, when I played this game earlier today, it was it was a smooth experience. So I just wanted you guys to know that for some reason with this recording, uh, it is not the best. But here we go. So we're going to jump, jump. So it looks like we have this one here, which I believe is going to stop one of these um, one of these bridges. Let's see here. Let's move back. All right. So I got that one in the middle. No, that's the same thing that you want to do over here is that you want to um, flip this thing up when you see the bridge kind of hit the middle. All right. So right there. All right, there we go. So now we're just going to jump. Oh boy, this is really choppy. I hope uh, I hope this looks a little bit better on the recorded version. So here is the uh, checkpoint. So once you go past this checkpoint, if you die, that's okay. Now, if you want, you can fight these guys. Um, and just remember that you are able to do a dive. You can do a jump, things like that. Now, I'm not going to fight these guys this whole time here. You don't have to fight them if you don't want to. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so I went a little bit too far. You can see that this bridge is not going to help. So this one is moving the same time that that one is moving. So what you want to do is there's another switch over here. So what you want to try to do is hit this switch the moment um, that it goes to its furthest length. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for it to get to its furthest length right there. Then what we're gonna do is wait for the other portion of the bridge to come, and then we're gonna start it. So now, uh, basically all that did is it'll bring the two bridges together, um, as you can see right there. All right, so I'm getting hit here. So let's get rid of the skeleton. All right, okay, so now, here we go. Now, trust me, I've played this a couple times before. Um, so there's a time that I was playing and it took me a few minutes to figure out exactly what to do at that point. So here's the next checkpoint. Um, and you know what? I believe, I think I just saw something here. I believe if I come over here, this is also health. So it's giving me a little bit of health back. Which is nice because beforehand I was at I was in like 78, so now I'm at 100, so that's actually pretty nice. So now these guys, like these guys, have um, shields, which are uh, not fun at all. <laughs> okay, so inside of this area here, this is where you'd want to flip that switch. Um, but I am going to get rid of these guys real quick here. So there is three of these that you do need to make sure to get rid of. Oh, now this guy comes for a little bit of fun too. Great. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Oh no, they just won't stop. 
Dang, there's a few that you do need to kill. So make sure that you go through and you kill a few of these guys. Um, all right, there we go. Okay. So one of the things that I that I played with over here was I flipped a few of these uh, tokens. So I think I flipped number four, and I also flipped or I flipped number one and four. And I don't know what I did, but it made like a little chime as if I did something successful. So if you get to this point, I did one and four. Um, so I don't know what that exactly is going to do. So with this one here, we do need to use this. Um, so this. Okay, so it completely stopped these two bridges. So here we go. So this is gonna be a little bit easier to manage. So this way it's not moving. Uh, actually, the first time I did this, it was moving the, the whole entire time. Um, which is actually one of the things that you do want it to do. So actually, I am gonna head back. I'm gonna make sure that this thing is moving the whole time and, and I'll show you why. So how about we flip this one back? crap <laughs> missed it all right so if you fall down there there is going to be these bigger guys that you will have to fight all right so now we've got on here now the reason why you wanted both of these to actually move is because of this reason right here um there is a lever here and actually a lever on the other side all right so now that we've moved this so that over there is the portal that we are trying to get to Oh, uh, shoot. And there we go. So now we have reached the very end of it. Uh, but what I do want to do is actually go here and open this up because this will actually give you a golden helmet or a bronze helmet. Uh, so now that we have a bronze helmet, let's go into our inventory. Let's put it right back on. And there we go. So now we have conquered uh, the the parkour, the dungeon of dummies, <laughs> or dumb y YZ, whatever that may be. All right, so that is the end. We're just gonna head over into E for travel, and this means that we are completely done with everything that we need to do, what we need to do. So first off, for the guide, you would have to go into the uh, the dungeon or wherever that gargoyle location is below there. That means that you are done for uh, the map version of the quest. And then we just went through this game here for uh, the dungeon of dummies or dungeon of dumb YZ. So this is more closer to what you would be able to expect with the sandbox. Uh, it's not really just running around the map doing absolutely nothing, saying hi to somebody. It's actually going through things like this. Now, I might have shown it a little bit quicker. I might have shown it that it was a little bit easier than what it really is. But it doesn't show that uh, the couple times I died <laughs> in this shooting. And it doesn't show the times that I played it right before the shooting of the game just for me to get, get through it, get done with it, enter for the contest, things like that. So I made it look a little bit easier than what it really might have been, especially for my first time. My first time, it took at least two times longer than what it was because I was learning uh, what I needed to to do with all the different positions things like that so now we are done and complete we have all three finished uh, and so now if you do go back into the sandbox website and you reload it all over again you'll be able to notice you have a green check mark next to all three of those things if you've done all three each and every day but I hope you guys have found this video to be helpful entertaining things like that give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button I'll have more videos coming out and just to give you a little bit more information beyond just the game here again not financial advice this is for entertainment purposes only speculative but I'm also telling you where my money is going I'm putting it into Matic which is Polygon uh, and, and uh, the Sandbox Alpha will be switching over to a dual chain where it will be using Matic uh, not only sand and, and ethereum and then also too as well uh, take a look at unity on the stock market unity is what is behind this game here that that is the platform that built this metaverse so a couple things you can take a look at i want to give you a little bit more nuggets in this video if you've stuck around for this long write a comment below inside of the comment section if you got to this far and you got these little nuggets um, other than that hit on the subscribe button on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later